Hello everyone and welcome again to Whiskey Wednesday. This week we're chatting about something that bourbon fans might be a little bit surprised by and it is Elijah Craig 12 year old. It's 48% or 94 proof and it's something that is slowly working its way out of the market. Uh, however, I've got it on a fairly good source um, who is the distributor for this brand in the UK. That There's pallets of it left in the UK and a certain supermarket is selling it for less than 30 pounds. So if you can find one, do pick one up. I did, picked up more than one. And I've cracked it open so we can share it with you today. Uh, Bourbon fans will know about the story of Elijah Craig. He was a priest as well as a little bit of a, a wheeler and a dealer on the side. And he's kind of like the Beatles of bourbon. Like loads of other people were doing what he was doing, but he's just more famous for it. So uh, the idea of like barrel maturation and barrel charring, there's a really cool story that comes from him, which I'll put in the, the description section below. So you can have a little read of that. But we'll chat about the bourbon. It is a 12 year old Kentucky straight bourbon, aged in virgin oak, 51% corn in the mash bill, then about the rest of the, the mash bill altogether. Um, but it's lovely, so we'll dive in, we'll smell it, we'll taste it, we'll see what's going on. I was just discussing with the guys behind the camera about what this thing smells like, and to me it is what you would imagine uh, anyone's grandparents' house to smell like. It's tons of old mahogany, loads of just like old books, uh, it's really rich and then behind that you've got all those classic kind of maple syrup, black pepper, vanilla bean, uh, coffee. It's really deep and really rich in style. Got the classic elements of like maple syrup, mint and as we've also discussed off camera that the bottle also looks a little bit like a maple syrup decanter too. But there's a lot going on with it and it's made by Heaven Hill who are uh, one of the largest distilleries on the face of the planet. Make this, they make the Heaven Hill range, Evan Williams, the Parker's Heritage stuff, plus vodkas and loads of stuff. And this was a real shining light. And if you can pick them up while they're still around, I would recommend it. Because to smell that as a fan of bourbon, it's next level. Let's try it. A lot of people would argue that six to 12 years is kind of like the golden spectrum for bourbon. Anything older than that gets a bit too dry. Anything younger than that, well, there are whiskies out there that are younger than that. They tend to be a little bit green, a bit spirity. This thing does it all. Um, the oak is extremely prevalent on the nose as it is on the taste. It's dry, like quite dry, but not unpleasant. It's almost like a satisfying amount of dryness. Pepper backs that up along with mint. You've got those really herbaceous styles kicking through. And then the sweetness is actually quite underdeveloped, but I like that. It's not too much vanilla, it's not too much caramel, it's not too much wafer or anything like that. It's just little bits here and there, just to counteract the dryness that you're actually getting within your mouth. I love that. It's really, really tasty. If you could distill a barrel, it's almost what this is like. I know I've said that before with like things like the George T. Stag and the Handies and all that kind of thing. But this is like a baby version of it and a more affordable version of it. And at the minute, a very affordable version of it, if you can find it. So it's a cover. Great nose. Probably one of the best noses on any bourbon I've ever tried. A combination of like old furniture, worn out books, furniture polish, mahogany, mint, caramel, caramel wafers, vanilla beans, coffee beans counteracted by an immediate very spicy arrival and then it gets drier and drier and bigger and bigger and bigger and it is just such an awesome bourbon and it's you can see why it's so popular and why people are panicking a little bit to see it on its way out but for me that's always been like a mainstay in my collection and it's an easy eight and a half I really really dig it and yeah if you can find it please go out try it if you have tried it or if you've got like a stash of it let me know where you are, I'll trade you something. Um, but that's Elijah Craig 12. This is the Whiskey Jar, I've been Phil, and we will see you all next week. Cheers.